What is going on guys? It is Power Bang bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. We are back today getting ready to leave actually going overseas to Estonia tomorrow morning. I'm getting ready to go to sleep right now, pack my bags, get on out of Dodge. Uh, because we got the CWL invite, live finals between the Dark Looters and War and Glory. So War and Glory trying to steal the show in their first ever season in CWL invite, while the Dark Looters are trying to defend their title from season one. So very impressive stuff. Both of those squads very solid. Looking forward to that. But in today's video, before I get out of here, I wanted to make sure I got some Clash of Clans stuff up for you guys. Gonna be looking at the Town Hall 11 new stuff. We're talking uh, the new mechanics on the balloons. I've kind of hinted at that, showed that a little bit already, but I'm gonna use it in an army today, as well as the new level five miners, the new level five healers. We're gonna do an attack with each one of those, so stay tuned and I will get right into it. All right, guys, so in my quick train menu, I've got three armies already pre-prepared for the day. Uh, we are looking at a Loon Army, a Miner Army, and a Bowler Army. I'm terrible with bowlers, and I've used them maybe once at Town Hall 11, so don't expect to learn anything <laughs> today with the bowlers, but maybe expect to make fun of me a little bit and how bad I'm terrible with them. Uh, but the Miners, I'm hoping for good things. I want to see what the level fives can do against the Town Hall 11. That's the goal. Uh, with the Loons, I feel pretty good with Loons. That's my go-to, both for war as well as farming. So I feel much better about a balloon attack. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys kind of what to look for there. You may be able to pick up a few things. Now, the Bowler attack. I'm going to be doing a Queen Walk with four healers because I want to see how that goes. Um, that's kind of my main line of inquiry for that particular army. So let's go ahead, check our clan castle and see that we have seven miners. For the miners, you're gonna want that ground war uh, ground warden, the grand warden on ground and not air. So if you've been attacking with air, make sure you go switch it back. I'm um, gonna make sure that's done right now. We're gonna go check some bases and hopefully we find something soon. Hopefully it doesn't suck and hopefully there's some loot. So that's the goal here, guys. That being said, let's shift focus here to the finals. Very, very excited. Dark Looters versus War and Glory. Who do you guys got? Let me know in the comments what to expect, who you think's going to win, and why. So, I know who I have. I'm not going to mention it in the video. I'm not trying to be all biased and whatnot, but I do have my pick. It, it hasn't changed since the beginning of the playoffs, um, at least after we got out. But hey, it's all good. So, we've got a uh, really exciting war, a really exciting week coming up. Um, it's going to be going down next Sunday, I believe. Yeah, next Sunday, uh, the finals will be happening. Make sure you guys tune into that live final. Drop that support for both of those clans, as well as me if you want. I mean, that's cool. So, um, looking forward to that very, very much. And yeah, man, it's another another great trip uh, to, to meet some really cool people in the community. Um, that's something I always very much enjoy. So, we've got Scoopy here trying to defend... Scoopy is going to be trying to, to, to ward off the miners. I brought five wall breakers here to try to uh, basically make my king have some value. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to do this. So we're going to go queen out here. We'll go giant and we're going to go one miner. You'll see why in just a moment. One miner over here as well. We'll go giant and we will go king. So, here we go. We are getting ready to rock and roll. Queen's going to pop that ability. Here come the miners. We want to get right through the core, and there we go. So, King uses his ability, and we are going to send in the miners from the outside. Warden with them. Let's see here. So, there is the rage spell. We're going to drop the first heal as well. I had to uh, drop in... Why, why, why is everything stopped right now, okay? Jeez Louise. Literally had to drop in my second rage already. Like, the miners stopped moving. It must be the ground skeletons. I'm actually going to drop in my, uh, my poison right now because that is just ridiculous. So, the Inferno Tower actually gets missed. This is not good, guys. Not good at all. Inferno Tower goes down. Um, all of my miners have gone over to the same spot on the field as well, so this is, uh, this is bad, bad, bad right now. So I'm gonna drop my last heal, not what I was hoping for at all in this raid, 
just kind of died early. Um, but let's see how far the miners can get through. The last Inferno Tower should be going down now, and we really don't have a ton left in the base, and we have a lot of concentrated miners. It all comes down to how fast we get the splash units taken out. We've got wizard towers up. We've got mortars up. And that's really what's going to end the raid faster than anything with these miners. It looks like the warden is still up, helping them out with the life aura, but... Yeah, man, not gonna not gonna get it done here on the Town Hall 11. It looks like the 69%. Um, yeah, maybe maybe even 70 here. It looks like we're out of range of everything somehow. Uh, we're gonna take out this last little bit of loot and uh, probably move up and die. So 70% for the miners. You know, I felt like that was gonna go so much better, and it just didn't. Ground skellies for the win. You just don't see that a lot at the Town Hall 11 level. Well, I guess it's 50-50 because you got a lot of them trying to protect ground attacks for the Town Hall 10 hit-ups. So, I guess it's kind of hit or miss. So, 71% is what I ended up with for the miners. So, next up, let's look for the loons, right? We'll try to redeem ourselves here. And then we'll end the, the video with a funny attack. I know it's going to be a funny attack because flat out, I'm not good with bowlers. I don't use them often. I've got a general idea of what I need to do. But you know how you kind of get in that, that comfort zone with regards to your army composition? Like you know about how many of everything that you like to bring, the spells that you like to bring. I don't know any of that stuff with regards to bowlers because I simply haven't used them. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll get those loons going. Looking pretty good on everything here. We do need to switch over our Warden back to Air. Um, that's going to be kind of a big deal. So there it is, Air Warden, and let's go try to make us a successful attack. So hopefully you guys are entertained. I am a little nervous right now. A little nervous, not going to lie. I want to make sure I try to get one successful attack. And normally when I'm farming like that, I'm pretty much all Loon all the time. So I feel best about this attack, but it, I know I have one shot at it, and I'm going to end the video. So it's like, ah, I hope I get something decent. All right, so this base, um, all those air defenses that are at the top, this is going to be kind of interesting, to be honest with you. Let's see here what we can do. Um, warden in on the, uh, on the top as well. That's going to add a lot of extra DPS here. So what I want to do is drop in the queen early here and i'm going to drop in a couple of wizards to help start funneling that was not what i meant to drop okay so here we go here we go so get in there king you can do it all right so going okay so far Benefit of no CC, guys. That is uh, that is pretty massive. Get in the damn base, queen. There we go. So I'm going to pop that ability with the king. And he is going to go do work, son. All right, so let's get a... Well, we can't really go yet. Can't really go yet. So I'm going to have to bust off the ability right now. And then hopefully get this last wizard tower as well. That's the idea anyways. And then sweep around through the bottom... And just do what we do, baby. All right, so let's go one, two. No, oh my God, so many air traps. Okay, let's uh, let's try this again. We will go here and here. So my God. All right, we're going to Wall of Loons, guys, just because of the the shenanigans that this guy pulled on the outside of this base. So I'm literally gonna go in. This is an adjustment mid-raid here, guys. Mid-raid. Okay, so here we go. I'm going very early, very often. So we want all of that stuff to get to the core, and boom. So there is the heal spell. We'll drop in on the backside there, and there. So I believe we're good to go. Um, everything looks pretty smashed. I, I feel much better about this raid. Granted, it didn't have a CC, but honestly, we had the poison, uh, pretty much ready to go, and I, I don't, I don't think it would have been a problem. Uh, might have not gotten one more wizard tower, but I think with the 70,000 balloons that we have left up, we would have been okay. 
Um, so you getting crushed by PB in this one. Like I said, guys, felt pretty good about the loons, but again, it's always a little nerve wracking when you get that unknown base. Like, so I, the army that I that you see on the screen right now is designed to deal with many different types of bases. You've got the wall breakers there, as well as uh, a couple of or four wizards. Uh, to help with the funneling and something that I normally do as part of this army that I didn't in this one is I brought uh, I normally bring two giants as well just to help with distraction when I'm creating the funnel as well as wall breaking in it makes it more reliable and allows you to get a better push with your hero so that's something that you can do as well now for the shenanigans let's get these bowlers going oh my god 15 gems for a freaking cc man okay so we're gonna get a golem giant rage combo I can't spell giant, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so here we go. Golem Giant Rage. Good to go. Guys, I'm pumped for the office. You may notice the backdrop's a little bit different. Um, I've switched sides in the room. So all that cool stuff that you saw before on the background is now my foreground. And now I've got to go do the cool stuff in the background there because I've got my, my sofa. It's all getting set up. I've got shelves, lighting. Souvenirs, all kinds of really cool stuff, but I can't I can't get it done before I leave uh, for Estonia. So I'm gonna get that done when I get back. I'm gonna be making videos on the road for you guys, and it looks like we do have our CC full now. So let's go ahead and get the bowlers queued up, and we're gonna queen walk it up, guys. We're gonna queen walk it up. We gotta change the warden over to ground though. There he is. I can't believe I'm remembering this in the video. Normally, I always forget, and you guys are like, power bang, you idiot. What are you doing? So, okay, here we go. We're going to try to find a base here. I'm going to queen charge it, and we're hoping for the best here. I'm, I'm honestly a little, uh, a little nervous about this one. I don't know if it'll end up uh, working out or not, but we'll see. We'll see. So, Cloud City, man, we're sitting at around 4,600 trophies right now. Obviously, good enough for some clouding, but... Not too awful long. I don't feel like it's been an, a, an inordinate amount of time this episode or anything like that. Maybe, a, you know, 30 to 45 seconds to kill, and then we get a base. Uh, I mean, that's what I'm hoping happens here anyways. Otherwise, we'll have to cut the video and come back, but I think, I think, I think we'll be okay. So, man, Estonia. I've been there once before, guys. Really excited to go back. One of the cooler places that I've been in the world is Tallinn, Estonia. It's one of those places. Damn, look at this dead-ass base, bro. Now I'm going to... I feel an extreme amount of pressure now uh, because I feel like if I fail... Yeah, I'm not even going to go there, guys. There's things under construction. Um... Yeah, I, I, I do not feel good about this at all. So I wish I had an extra healer now um, because I, I would very, very much like, let's go test. It's good. And we'll open up that wall. So that is looking just fine. We'll go here and then we got to get that, that rage spell ready. Maybe. I think we're going to be able to get through, honestly. Um, yeah, man. Looking pretty good so far. So let's go here and here. And I want that, that queen to go to the other side, but I think we were too late on those wizards. We were. No, she... she I don't know, man. The cannon's going to be a bit of a problem. I don't know what we're, uh, what we're thinking here. So, okay. So she's going to go that way, which is fine. That's fine, guys. Um, no, no, no. We don't want to go to town hall. I mean, it's, I mean, it's cool, but it's it's not cool at the same time. So what we want to do is break off a funnel and jump to the core. Um, yeah, and end up by the eagle. That's that's the goal. That's the ticket right there. So here we go. We're gonna have to get going here pretty soon, guys. Gotta gonna get going pretty soon. We lost ourselves. Um, yeah, we lost the. <laughs> Um, uh, the healer there, so this is this isn't good. Here's what we want to do though. Let's go ahead and we'll drop a rage spell in, and here we go. Rage. We got the the did. did, did. Okay, so did I really lose two freaking Valkyries? Really? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I literally don't have anything for the golem to do, so we're gonna go over here, and over here, and over here. And what I'm going to do is go straight to the core with all of this stuff. So that's kind of the goal. And then what we want to do is 
rage it once we get to the core. I'm going to freeze on the next eagle right now. Just like so. Okay, so I've got my bowlers kind of healing up. I don't think that we're going to have time to finish this. I don't know what the hell I waited so long for. Um, but it's cool. It's cool. Okay. Don't hit bombs is all I'm trying to say. So 36 seconds. Definitely not going to finish this in time. It's all about how much loot can we get at this point. So I don't even need the freaking warden ability. Oh my god. We're not even going to... Yeah, whatever. I'm going to use it. Don't even care. So this is going to be a fail. Uh, we do get ourselves a, a fair bit of loot though. Um, but it could have been so much more. The healers switch over to the bowlers. I just should have went earlier. I was looking at how to make the funnel with the king. And I should have just cleared out both sides from the very get-go. And then sent the bowlers through the core. Um, getting the easy, easy three-star. Again, this was tripled uh, if the clock was four and a half minutes long. So I'm happy with the loot. That was an atrocious raid. Um, you guys can roast me for it in the comments. I'm, I'm good for it today. Um, guys, I just wanted to get some content up for you for Clash of Clans before I took off to Estonia. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you dug it, make sure you guys hit the like button. The healers, guys, definitely super strong. Um, got that queen all the way to the left side of the base. You can see her over here dead. Um, but that's quite a push against all of that near max point defense. Even considering I know there was no Inferno beams or uh, clan castle troops. But still, we had the queen that we went up against. We had three healers for the most part since one guy hit with the Sam. You know, not bad stuff there at all. I think it gives a lot of hope for Queen Charges. We saw some really cool stuff in an earlier raid um, from our last war as well. I'll try to cover some more of that as I'm over on the other side of the pond. Make sure you guys get your Clash of Clans fixed. But for now, this is Power Bang. I'm signing out. Until next time, guys, take care. We'll see you soon.